And then there was one. <laughs> I wonder who. We have had a whole lot of fun this week introducing ourselves to you at home. And we wrap up our questions and anchor series this morning with Marisol Castro, a newcomer to CBS News. Won't be a newcomer after you watch this. Take a look. I taught high school English for four years, and I loved it. I can't tell you that I have a lot of country on my iPod. I grew up uh, on a very diverse street, Baychester Avenue. Um, we were Puerto Rican, we had Italians, Irish, Jamaican, Trinidadian, Polish. I grew up playing you know, stickball and, and stoop ball. And to this day, I can go back and people are just so proud of me. My very first job was at uh, Bronxville Sports Camp. I coached gymnastics, and then I was a waitress at Pani Vino in Bronxville, and I was so bad that they decided to make me a hostess. That was sort of their nice, humble way of saying, you really stink at this, but we want to keep you. My first crush was Jesse Kenworthy. I was a freshman, he was a junior in high school. Uh, and he was tall and he had green eyes. And we dated for a spell and then he got tired of me. So Jess, if you're watching, clearly I moved on. <laughs> my grandfather. My grandfather f was a Jew and he fought in World War II. He had a huge part in raising me and just worked five jobs. He married a Puerto Rican woman uh, in, the, in the 40s when that was not really in vogue. Uh, and just a really funny man. So he's definitely the most interesting, interesting person I've ever met. Earliest memories, when I was a kid, um, we used to go to Duffy Square, the TKTS booth uh, here in New York City, and my grandfather would bring me to a matinee show to see um, Broadway musicals. Make me get dressed up and we'd go downtown and inevitably I would freeze and he would go to the peanut guy and get a bunch of different packages of hot peanuts and he'd stick them in my coat. So I remember nothing of 42nd Street or a chorus line or singing in the rain, but I remember waiting online, my grandfather keeping me warm and having warm peanuts and probably smelling like a peanut too. <laughs> A perfect day is a day where I have my two children and um, my two boys, and where we do absolutely nothing, um, but just where we sort of wake up and see where the day takes us, and uh, the wrestling is at a minimum. <laughs> I didn't know I could, but I think I love you even more. Oh. Oh, Kids are goodness. beautiful. Thank you very much. They are. And okay. Jesse Kenworthy, you, well, you talk about a <laughs> mistake. You made well, you a the big boat, buddy. mistake, buddy. I love to hear you talk about your grandfather. And we, you know, we've heard you talk, all of us are very close to our families, and we've heard mm -hmm. you talk a lot about your grandfather, but we didn't really know all the details. Yeah, you know, he was, my dad died when I was 10, and so my sister and my mother and my grandfather raised us. So I was like the Juanita Epstein, because my Catholic mother and my Jewish grandfather. And, uh... You know, I learned I learned the hard way yes. a lot of a lot of things. So, can I just say? We, I mean, we all watch the, the the competition a little bit. So we we, we see Marisol in, in, mm -hmm. in previous years, and I remember uh, you know when when I first heard it was her, I was like, yes, yeah. <laughs> that she's coming here. She is smart. She is charming. She is beautiful. Uh, she is wonderful company. Mm -hmm. um, we've all gotten to experience that. Thank you for coming. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Thank you for having me. I I really do feel like I belong here.